Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shares. You're watching my review of Maker's Mark. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is a Kentucky bourbon. It's bottled at 45% ABV or 90 proof and is made in Loretto, Kentucky. It's been made there since 1953 and has a distinctive red wax uh, seal. It's hand dipped and every bottle has been since 1953. It's a Kentucky bourbon whiskey. It's made up of a mash bill of 70% corn, 16% uh, wheat and 14% malted barley. Unusually, it doesn't have any rye in the mash bill and is a sour mash bourbon, which means that some of the used uh, mash ingredients go back into the uh, new mash for each batch. It's classed as a small batch whiskey made of, well, roughly 19 barrels or less, uh, which is, I suppose, quite small uh, on bourbon production scales. And they, well, I suppose they basically do that because they want to keep a, a consistent flavour and make sure that they're not making enormous batches that are difficult to manage the flavour profile of. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. Right, so before I start nose and tasting, I'll point out that mine comes in a nice presentation box, which isn't the norm. It normally comes as a, a standalone bottle and um, at Christmas time, they come with a nice uh, woolly jumper on them. But um, I do like the um, unique uh, red wax that um, every bottle comes in. It does give every single bo bottle a nice unique character. So let's um, have a look at the colour before I start. It's uh, a nice sort of burnished colour. It, um, it's most likely uncoloured. Let's start with the nose. Right, so there is quite a lot going on with this. For, for a bourbon, I get lots of, uh, lots of nice notes on the nose. I'm getting sour cherry. There's a really strong charred oak character. There's some nice sweet vanilla in there, which is always good with the bourbon. And there's like a marzipan or sweet almond sort of um, note. Getting a hint of linseed oil and a nice dose of uh, red apples in there as well. It really is lovely and sweet. Let's um, let's try it on palate. So it's interesting because for me, and I've drunk quite a lot of this bottle already, it gives away so much on the nose, it really does give away lots of flavour, but for me it doesn't really translate onto the palate. I get, first thing I get is that sort of flat cherry cola note, which is um, quite common on uh, a lot of bourbons. There's then a sweet sort of woody note, um, that charred oak is obviously um, given a, a nice sort of tang with, with the uh, sweet vanillins that come from, from, from the oak as well. And then there's like a, um, almost like a, a slight sort of ethanol, maybe nail polish remover or acetone sort of note, but um, not much more. Let's have another sip, see if I can get anything else out there. In terms of ABV, I think at 45%, it is actually reasonably potent. It's um, it's probably on the upper limit of what I can drink without water, which is unusual because I can sometimes drink bourbons of much higher ABV. But but for me, this is right on the cusp. And sometimes I enjoy it with a few drops of water, and sometimes I enjoy it neat. But it really doesn't give off much flavour. Um, it's quite a traditional bourbon flavour, it works really well in cocktails, but as a sipper, it just doesn't do just doesn't do much for me. 
I'd rather sit there all night and, and uh, nose it than uh, take my time drinking it. But in terms of finish, I get things like a little bit of pepper, that sort of peppery prickle. It's only light. I get that dry wood and I get some cherry uh, to finish it off. And I, I'd say it does linger, it does linger on the palate for some time. So I'd say it's a, a medium finish. But for me, it's a decent value bourbon. Uh, I think it retails for around the £24 mark um, in the UK, which isn't bad, especially at 45%. It, as I said before, it works really well in cocktails. But as an out-and-out -out sipper bourbon, it just doesn't give away much. So it's not one that I drink very often neat for that reason, but I do enjoy it in a cocktail like a, an old-fashioned um, or a Manhattan. It works really well with those. But um, yeah, it's, it's definitely one I'd buy again, but not for drinking neat. If that sounds up your street, then um, check it out and uh, go and buy a bottle. And um, check out my next review, which will be another Maker's Mark release. See you then. Sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.